Adrian, your highest ever average on TV tonight, 113.8, and a 7-1 win over Barney. It's a mm. perfect way to start the season. It certainly is, yeah. I mean, um, obviously after the World Championships, I uh, missed that many doubles. I, sh I should have won four sets now. Don't get me wrong. And I thought, I don't think you missed that many doubles tonight. Yeah. And I went at him straight away. I guess this game then, it, as soon as the fixtures came out and you saw it was Barney again, I is it something it. that's been in your mind? Yeah, of course it has. Yeah, last couple of months, obviously, since, um, you know, I, I, I went out, I was uh, distraught, really, because I knew I should have been playing once in the quarters. And um, I just showed him tonight, a little, you know, I thought, I'll show you, and that was it. And that was probably a bit of a message to the rest of the field as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you've got the world's best. You know, we, ten players there are the world's best players, so uh, whether they take it on board or not, I don't really care, because as long as I concentrate on, on what I'm doing, I don't, I don't really care what I'm doing. Yeah. You look comfortable up there, and you're scoring particularly, you couldn't seem to miss the treble tonight. <laughs> Good, <laughs> I hope that continues. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, um, yeah, you know, 100, 130 in average, yeah, steady. I can improve on that. Yeah, well, you may have to. It's Phil Taylor next week, and obviously mm. you've had some fantastic battles down the years. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, obviously I lost 111 average to Phil. Um, but looking forward to playing. I'm looking forward to playing everybody, really. Mm. The atmosphere tonight in Leeds as well, you look like you were relishing yeah. that with 11,000 fans. When I walked out there, it was unbelievable, you know, you, you walk out and everybody's there chanting your name, and, and obviously Barney's name, it's, you know, it's just... I've lost words already.